Hi, and welcome to my video series of Biotechnics Explained in 5 Minutes, where I explain the concept in biology in less than 5 minutes or so. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button right now. So today's video is about SDS PAGE. So SDS PAGE or SDS Polyacrylamide Gel Electrophoresis is a technique by which we can separate proteins according to their molecular weight. Now, there are this system is based on gel based separation and the gel is a complex of two type of gels a running gel and a resolving gel and using a combination of running gel and the resolving gel which we would be discussing in this video one can finally resolve the proteins according to their molecular weight so let's go step by step and understand this process process in details so here imagine this is the gel that you need to run for the polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis so it has two basic region one is stacking gel that is on the top where you load the samples and here is something called resolving gel so what is different between these two region the stacking gel has a ph of 6.8 and the loading gel uh, and the resolving gel has a ph of 8.8 .8. and why there is a ph difference we would get to know very soon also the percentage of these gels are very different the percentage of resolving gel varies across the usage of the user they can use different percentage of resolving gel and different percent of resolving gel has different pore size which would allow them to separate the samples properly so generally the stacking gel has larger pore and lower ionic strength whereas the resolving gel has smaller pores and higher ionic strength why is so we would get to know soon so the polyacrylamide which is used the polyacrylamide gel which is used to separate proteins is basically made up of two components acrylamide and disacrylamide so they polymerize to form this whole gel like structure and the percentage of these polyacrylamide and bisacrylamide can be changed and their ratio could be varied to get different type of pore size and this pore size difference is important because let's say we need to separate a protein which is very small in size so we would prefer using a higher concentration of gel right because protein size could be different and in order to resolve them we need proper size now let's just try to start this process by let's say we have a protein solution then we add into the protein solution sts and beta mercaptoethanol. to ethanol and why sts because sts and beta mercaptoethanol to ethanol would first of all denature the protein get rid of all the disulfide bonds and kind of mask all the different charges on the protein by negative charge so after that you put it in incubator to boil it for some time so this is the situation of the protein before SCTS treatment but after SDS treatment you can see the charge are uniformly marks masked by the SDS and everything is like uniform and linearized so all the secondary structures are broken after this treatment now you would load this gel and start the gel for uh, and try to separate the proteins according to the electrophoretic principle now the proteins are now negatively charged because they are sds coated so they would move from negative to the positive terminal but there are multiple things in the solution there is running buffer one of the component of the running buffer is chloride ion so chloride ion is a small ion it would quickly go to the positive and so it's the leader so it, it runs very fast after that the protein runs pretty much slowly because the protein is big bulkier but it has also negative charge so it would be attracted to the positive terminal it would move towards the resolving gel side and at the end there is a glycine ion now at ph 6.8 glycine ion behave like a cation and since it's a cation its mobility is ultra slow and it is it is lagged behind in this whole process so they move very slowly now let's say they are moving and at the end of this process what would be happening is the proteins would be stacked on top of the resolving gel as if they are like uh, making their position in the starting line and from that they would be resolved according to the function of their molecular weight right so the ph of the running gel is closer to the pk of glycine 
charged. That is why it becomes also negatively charged and it would quickly move just like the chlorine ion. And now the protein is free and it would move like its own pace and it would be separated by its own molecular weight. So after that, let's say we stop the timer when the gel running is complete because we can understand by the dye front. And then this is how our unstained gel look like. We can stain the gel by different method. One such method is using Kumasi Brilliant Blue or sometimes silver staining or anything. So you can stain the gel and you know the expected band size. So you can ultimately check the stained gel and check the known protein markers to understand that whether your protein of interest is there, whether the resolving is happening. But in order to understand a particular protein of interest is present in your protein sample or not, you have to do Western blot. And if you haven't yet watched my Western blot video, quickly watch the Western blot and the link is in the description. And thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.